Um, all right, my name is Carlos, and uh, we're in uh, downtown Claremont, and we're gonna attempt to uh, try and hire some actors for a short film idea that I think people are gonna find interesting. But uh, I don't know. We'll see what the reaction is. It's just kind of uh, at random, you know, kind of like a scout. See if it works out for us. You know, we'll see what happens. For this film, I don't. I don't want to get old people because kind of a liability. We might die in the middle of the film or something, and we don't have insurance to cover that. And uh, possibly no black people because it's not just playing. I'm just kidding. I'm not racist, but uh, we'll see. I don't know. I, I feel too brown to be in this area. You know what I mean? But look, Jurassic Park. I'm a little, I was a little concerned about brown people being here, but there's black people here too. There's nobody here. At least what I'm looking for, I can't find anybody. Oh, that's probably why there's no one here. I didn't know it was an important holiday. Whatever. It's all about Cinco de Mayo. I thought you said this was the spot. Like, there's young people and all sorts of people. I, I don't understand. Get out of my face! Imagine me trying to do some Pilates with this belly. Oh, not a good sight. I'm taking a little break. I'm tired. There's no one here. I picked a bad day to come out here. Apparently, Fourth of July is pretty important to the American people. Um, oh look! Ah, oh, that's horrible. It comes out before the world ends. Great. Ruining my day. I don't know what we're gonna say to them. Oh no, we talked about what we we're gonna say to the guys, but not the girls. So there's quite a bit of girls here. I just don't know what to say to them. Pretty, pretty embarrassed to be honest. So tell me, Marcos. I think I actually twice. Opportunities yeah. slipping away right now. <laughs> mm. More opportunities. I don't know. I think uh, being a casting director is a, a little bit of beyond my league. Whose idea was this anyways? I got nothing to comment on that. I'm not into politics. Oh, let's ask him, let's ask him. You saw him. Hi. What's going on, man? How you doing? Hey, what's up? My name is Carlos, and hey, I just want to ask you, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, we're trying to make a short film, oh. okay? Okay. And I'm um, kind of like the casting director. And um, the short film, you know, it's about a guy who, uh, um, well, kind of embarrassing, kind of lost his testicles in an accident. Oh. Kind of like a war wound, you know what I mean? Okay. And we're trying to film his life and like how much it sucks and how he's dealing with it. Okay, and I'm so not gonna lie, I mean, I don't know how this might come off, but you kind of have that look, you know, you look, you know, you look pretty good, you know, I, li I like your look, and uh, okay. I want to see if you maybe want to be in it. You know, you kind of look to me like a guy, like a guy who maybe lost his testicles. <laughs> Why would you say that? Uh, do, do I not have a, am I not I'm, bulging I'm enough sorry, when I, I walk? Know. Is it? Um, I think do they, maybe it's what? someone else. Can I get a better part? Or? <laughs> was, no, uh, no, you guys are terrible. I think you got to change the plot of your story, man. I don't think a guy wants to be a guy with no balls. It doesn't. Mean, it takes balls to say that. You know what I mean? Okay, so. You really want to keep the story? I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna fly, man. It's kind of. <sighs> How do I tell a guy? Hey, you look like a guy with no. You know, that's pretty bad. Hey, man. I just want to ask you. I want you to be in a film, and um, I don't know. You kind of look like you have. You can play the part. Has anybody ever told you you look like a guy with no testicles? What? Um. You know what? Uh, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Oh. This is gonna. 
This is gonna turn into a documentary of what a failure I'm at everything. You know, I can't even do laundry. I didn't know that you can't put white clothes with colored clothes. I'm sorry. And I didn't know that you can't put wedding dresses in there either, so my mom's mad that I washed her wedding dress. I was just trying to be nice. Whatever. You know what? I got an idea. I'm gonna make a homeless man rich. I can't find any people. Anybody here? Chinatown tour. Hello. 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 So, I still can't find anyone. I can't find anybody, and I'm also pretty afraid to talk to certain people, so I'm just, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm out of here. Perfect. Oh, hey. Yeah, so, I'm sorry to kind of stop, stop you at random, but I'm doing the short film, right? And I just think you, you, you look perfect for the part, you know, and uh, I want you to pretty much star in it. And, uh, you know, it's about a war hero. Oh, really? And his, yeah, yeah, and, and his struggle uh, and how he lives daily with his war wound, you know? Well, well what war wound is that? Um, well, this guy in particular, uh, he, uh, well, he lost, he lost his testicles. Are you serious with me? Are you, are you playing with me? No. Yeah, no. I'm are, sorry. Are you, are you serious? Are you playing with me? No. Are you playing with me? No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to offend you, but I, that's just that's just the part. Are you, are you okay? Uh, sir. You alright? Is, is, is this a setup? It's not, it's not a setup. Why would you say that? Sir. I have no testicles either. Uh, wow, I did. What are the odds? I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, <sighs> um, ooh, well, <sighs> you know, I did. I, uh, what are the odds? Um, do you, do you want to leave? Uh, do you want to do the part? You know, you don't forget it. Forget it. Dang it!